Hi YouTube! I miss you guys so much and I feel like I've abandoned my other family because I keep getting comments, messages, um, subscribers and I feel like I owe it to you guys to do another update and I feel like I owe it to you guys to keep doing these because there's so many people out there who just need support and I need support as well so I'm back and I'm going to do a quick update to show you all the products and how my skin is doing. My biggest flare up happened after I graduated college. I was in a transition where I needed to find a job and I felt like my life was going nowhere and um, that was really high stress on me and with that high stress caused the really bad breakouts on my neck, um, on my arms, everywhere and which then in turn caused my shingles and everything else. I think I left you guys with I went to the doctor for the mole on my stomach, which is removed, and now I have a big fat scar, which is okay, which is fine. And I have kurtosis pilaris, which um, the doctor prescribed me a special lotion, which I'll show you guys that I have. If for those of you, if you have kurtosis pilaris, um, it's really not that big of a big of a deal as compared to eczema. Um, my eczema has been at bay for the last, I'd have to say, four months since I've last updated. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the things that I've been using. I mean, remember, this may not work for you, and there is no remedy to eczema, and it's just about finding what works for you, and it's probably the seasons, your stress, it's everything combined that can cause a flare-up. So, for me, what is working so far, and hopefully will work for forever, <laughs> um, every day I use Vanny Cream. This sucker right here, I'm almost out. It's like, well, it's white, but I'm at the bottom and I have a second bottle in my cabinets over there. I only use this for my face and my neck constantly, all the time. After I wash my face, I put this on, I put it on my neck. My sister recently picked up a bottle, she has eczema too, but she still prefers Eucerin Original Cream over this, but she keeps layering and layering, but she likes the stuff, but not as much as her Eucerin. Second, I just picked up a bottle of the Cerave cream because I've read a lot of reviews that it's it's um it works for a lot of people and I really love how soft this is. I haven't used a lot. It feels amazing. Uh, it feels like water on your body, but so soothing, very light. I haven't used as much as my Vanny cream, but I just love the way it feels. It hasn't caused any crazy thing. I haven't used it on my face. I used it on my neck so far and, and my body. And it's been doing well. Next, for my Kurtosis Polaris, um, I think I mentioned this to you guys last time. I use the Ammonium Lactate Cream 12%, which you can get at Costco. Well, prescribed. It's the only prescribed lotion on the market, uh, I think. That's what my doctor said. My dermatologist up north. And you get three three of these in one prescription and it takes away or it helps with your kurtosis polaris and my skin is smooth now yay and it's supposed to help prevent eczema flare-ups but I think he just kinda threw that out there I don't know if it's really true I don't use this on my face haven't in a while next um, everyone's asking I got a question if I if I like the derma smooth so this this is amazing. It, okay, I know a lot of you say, stay away from the steroids. You should stay away from the steroids. If you can, do it. If you can't, you know, use it in moderation or what your doctor prescribed until your skin is okay. Um, this is 0.01 topical oil. It's mixed with, um, a lot of things I can't pronounce, but it has refined peanut oil, mineral oil, and stuff I can't pronounce, but I only use this for my neck and my arms, and I only use this when I see, when I'm itchy, and when my, my I feel a flare-up coming on. I'll put this on right after the shower, you're supposed to do it on damp skin, and it is the best, the best thing I've ever had compared to my steroid creams and other oils that I've tried. 
it may not work for you and you might want to stay away from steroid steroid stuff that's perfectly fine because I know putting this on I'm causing a risk to myself that in general my skin is gonna thin out but I have to say that when I do get my flare-ups that this stuff has kept my skin at bay and I don't put it on my face it's just my neck because that's where my flare-ups are and right here and right here and under my arms but everything so far is it's okay so that's why I'm, I'm telling you guys this because this is what's working for me also um, I still use Cetaphil a lot of people don't like this because it feels like water uh, or watery and not as moisturizing as other lotions but I only use this for my body so I do mani cream for my face and my neck I'll get out of the shower and then I'll put this stuff on my arms and my legs and then I'll put this stuff everywhere because I like to layer and I like to have lotion a lot of lotion for shampoos I'm still using the DHS clear shampoo this my doctor dermatologist recommended it's it's very uh, what is it um, it has no fragrance so a lot of you who like the fragrance smelly stuff are not gonna like this and it doesn't even feel like it lathers through your hair but it does and it gets the job done and I'm not scratching my head or doing anything crazy like that I also picked up the Aveeno line shampoo and conditioner these smell good but they have fragrance um, I only use it when I know I can and I love them uh, a lot of people, I don't use their Vino um, lotions anymore. Sorry guys. I went through that phase of trying everything on the market and I always thought it worked. And the Vino lotions did not work for me. But I really do like the shampoo and conditioners. Um, they have a lot of ingredients that I can't pronounce and they may be bad for you also. But you just have to try it. I mean, you don't have to try the one I'm trying, but you have to find out what works for you and what doesn't and so far this stuff is working for me my eyes I, I don't have any flare-ups around my eyes lately I don't have any around my mouth area I still use the chapstick 100% natural is my favorite I I bought I couldn't find these for the longest time and I thought they discontinued so I bought like eight of them off of Amazon <laughs> also what else what else, what else, what else? Oh, soaps. What I use in the shower, I use the Cetaphil, what is it? Their cleansing cream. And I still use Dove, um, the Dove Bar, sensitive skin. Some people don't like Dove. I've used Dove, I've used, I've used Dove my whole life, since I was five, three, I don't know. So I think my skin is probably used to it. Maybe that was the problem before, and I had a reaction to it, which is, could be, I don't know, a lot of things could have happened, and, uh, am I making sense? I'm sorry. Uh, what else? Oh, um, my sister has eczema around her mouth, and she's very self-conscious of, you know, her mouth area, too, and I know some of you have that problem. I had that problem before, but so far, lately, I've been at bay, so my skin is okay. She is still trying to find her way of you know, keeping her skin from flaking in that area, so she uses her Eucerin. Um, I told her to use chapstick, but she puts the Eucerin on her lips, and they make her lips more chappy. But I mean, she's she wants to do it her way, and that's perfectly fine. This might not work for you guys. Um, it works for me. I don't know why. It just does. Also, I changed my, um, when I was having flare-ups in that area, I changed my toothpaste to Tom's all natural and my sister recently changed to Tom's and her lips did get better but then it went back to the same so who knows if it's if it has to do with your toothpaste or what you're putting in your mouth